And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrix holes and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Welcome to another episode of Clay Camp. Today's going to be dedicated to the Ninja Course. I'm going to walk you guys through the Ninja Course and just kind of show you everything and sort of how it was all built and just give you the features of it. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from West Monroe, Louisiana, and I like to make videos. You're really looking better, and I'm glad to see that you're wearing gloves, too. I mean, just, you know. Mom, you excited about the pool? Yes, finally. How long did we wait? One day short of nine weeks. That's a lot of weeks. Uh, Boys, y'all ready to swim? Yeah. Do y'all got any water? <laughs> they don't have the water. We got the water. Okay, y'all, they're fixing back that trailer up. I need y'all off of it. That's a huge deal. I can't believe we actually got it in. This is a very intense moment. I feel like I'm gonna, I gotta take a deep breath. I'm gonna start Can putting you have it in, it in by next Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, probably not. <laughs> we finally got it here. Here's the hole. We've only had it dug for like nine weeks, and now here's our pull in a box. Drum roll, please. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow, some stairs. What's that? You see anything? Uh, I see that pool thing. Well, the pool saga continues. We got some of the pool kit in. I have no idea when this is going to end. This is like insanity. It's over and over and over again, like this craziness. Still missing the walls. We got a big hoard of stuff here, like the maybe the filter, the stairs, big roll of whatever the heck that is, a bunch of kids and you know pallet, and broken heart. Tell me what it is. That's a pump or a filter. Oh, that's one way to get off. Anyway, all right, we're finally done with the Ninja Course. This thing is awesome, I'm telling you. Like, it, it's it's so much better than I even thought it would be. And got held up a little bit by the rain, and it was kind of a learning curve because we've never done one before, but it is freaking awesome, and it wasn't that bad to build. Just all the little, it's a lot of little parts to it. Check it out. Jake, you're back. Shut your feet. I can't rock for the music. This rubber mulch, it would have cost a fortune if, if you would have bought it in bags at Home Depot or something. So find your nearest like rubber mulch or rubber shredding plant and that's the only way to buy it. It was like for 4,000 pounds, which is what this took, it was like $450 and it's totally worth it. Makes like a really soft cushiony surface too, just in case somebody falls, you know, it'll hurt less. It'll hurt a little bit less than if you were to hit regular concrete. And one cool feature about this ninja wall here is that it's adjustable. All you have to do is just take these little blocks and move them down. It's got three different levels. You got you have straight up and down, one kicked out about eight inches, and one kicked out about 12 inches. And it's all just really adjustable. And like I keep saying, it's also like fitting to whoever the individual is. And there's so many different things you can customize on it. We've got monkey bars right here. He's really good at them. And the cool thing about these monkey bars are is like they could be adult monkey bars, they could be child monkey bars, and, and also the cool thing is, is these little straps we have, they can, you can move the rings around, you can move little ball loops around, it's just all really versatile. That's the thing I love about this Ninja Course. And down on this end we have a swing set, and I do want to notate that we use 4x6s for each of the end posts because it is a swing and there is a lot of movement on the swing part. The rest of it we use 4x4s and then reinforce it with these angle braces down to the ground. It's pretty solid. One thing I was kind of unsure about whenever we were building this is how do we place out the, the rock wall rocks? Do we have some sort of a pattern? Are we supposed to like measure out? What do we do as far as like getting them placed? And the thing is, is we just put uh, little pieces of blue tape and we just try to make them as random as possible. And whenever we saw that we had the correct spacing, then we drill the holes and put on the rocks. Worked out pretty good. And the cool thing is, is all these little components can be gotten off of Amazon. Every little piece, the rope net, the, the balls, the rings, everything can be gotten off of Amazon, except for like the wood stuff. You just buy that at your lumber yard, the wood and the pipe and all that can be at any lumber yard. This peg climbing thing is expert only because it is really hard to pull yourself up on it. Let me show you. As you can see, I got some pretty, pretty good significant guns right here and I can't even do it at all. Something that's not really all that hard to do but it's not all that easy to do is this little ledge climb thing. It's pretty cool. Check this out. 
You'll also notice that a poofy rocks up the post there. That way the kids can access the monkey bars as well as the ledge climb. And again, adding to the list of things that I really like about this Ninja Course is so customizable. This is like a punching bag here. You just hang it from the pipe and there's tons of places that you could do stuff like that on. And although this is something that we don't normally do and probably won't do too terribly many more times, it was a really cool challenge to do and it really turned out very, very good. It was a unique experience that I really enjoyed being able to share with you guys because I know right now more than ever kids are at home and they're needing something to do and I think this could really work well for a lot of people. So if you don't mind, share this video and subscribe to my channel as well as turn your notifications on. Ain't how that works? I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from West Monroe, Louisiana. I like to make videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.